Welcome everyone, my name is Dr. Heydria from Harley Street Dermal and today we're talking through the assessment and treatment of the non-surgical facelift using dermal fillers. So you've probably seen a few of my videos and you've probably seen a few examples of these treatments but it's always helpful to just go through different examples to show you the assessment process so people can understand the structure and uh, the process how we assess what someone's needs are and everyone's needs are often different so that's why a detailed assessment and an individualized treatment package are often recommended for, for, for everybody and that's only through a detailed consultation so what we do is we end up having a look here so you can see the under eyes here have a little bit of hollowness it just gives an impression of tiredness a little bit of puffiness in the suborbicularis oculi fat pads which we just can blend out there's a fair bit of volume loss in the cheek the cheek just looks slightly depleted again that's volume loss over time which can happen with age stress and a number of factors we've got a little bit of volume loss around the smile it's nothing too drastic but just very slight it's a little bit worse on the on the right side than the left side here and a little bit of volume loss around the mouth corners again nothing tremendous but you can see the jaw is uh, quite flat the chin's a bit square You've got a little bit of sagging in the skin in this area. So it's all just very small touches that refine the overall look of the face. Again, the aim is just to refresh the appearance without making a drastic change. So the outcome we have is this. So you can see we've just structured the cheek and just lifted it a very small amount. We've just blended out the under eyes. You can still see there's a little bit of redness and things, but just because that was taken right after the second stage of treatment. Smile lines have been softened somewhat. Mouth corners have been lifted a little bit, but the jaw has been structured very nicely, so you've got a little bit of a soft V shape. We don't like making pointy chins, but we do want to tighten the chin area, which ends up tightening the skin. So it just pulls the chin forward and pulls the skin to reduce sagging, and it ends up blending the jawline out. So overall, it's just a nice, natural, refreshed appearance. We don't like making drastic changes in people that make it quite obvious they've had work done, because the less change, the better. But at the same time, there's a difference between a subtle change, which is so subtle that you can't see a difference, and one that's excessive, where you can see too much of a difference. And I think something in the middle, like this, is often the best outcome. So it would be nice to hear what your thoughts are, and thank you so much for watching.